Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a very interesting game which was played between two famous Soviet chess players, with the white pieces playing Alexander Kotov and his opponent is Igor Bondarevsky. This game was played in 1936 in Leningrad. Now let's see what happened on the board. Kotov opened up with d4 and e6 by Bondarevsky and after knight f3 Bondarevsky went for Dutch defense. g3, knight f6, bishop g2, d5, white castles king's side, bishop d6, c4 and c6. Belik is choosing a very solid stonewall formation. Knight d2, black castles king's side, b3, queen e8, black wants to bring his queen on h5 square, knight d1, knight d7, and now white is bringing his king side knight on d3 and the queen side knight on f3. An interesting decision, of course. Finally, we have queen h5, knight f4, queen f7, queen c2, and there it goes, g5. Another standard attacking move in Dutch stonewall. The knight retreats back and again we have queen h5. Knight e5 and rook f6. Yes, Belek's idea is simple to bring the rook on h6 and checkmate white king. Here white played f3 but it was better to play bishop f3 and if g4 then white can simply move back his bishop because in this case already the dark squared bishop is controlling this diagonal. If knight g5 then queen d2. White can always create problems for black but in our game after rook f6 we see a dubious looking f3 move after which black's attack is becoming very scary. Rook h6 and h4. Of course capturing on e4 can be very dangerous because after queen takes h2, king f2, black can play knight f6 and yes this is going to be very dangerous. That's why in our game after rook h6 we have h4 and as the pawn is no longer protected we have knight takes g3. In return white captured on g6 but it was better to win the pawn with the bishop. If knight takes f1 then rook takes f1 and if knight takes e5 then d takes e5 and according to the engine white has an advantage. But in our game after knight takes g3 we have h takes g5 and there it goes queen h2 check is on the board. King f2 and this time we have rook h4. Rook g1 and rook takes d4. Black pieces have very dominant positions and all this looks very scary. Bishop b2 and queen h4, although capturing on e5 and sacrificing the rook could have given black better chances. If bishop b2 then bishop d7. Yes, this could give black better chances but in our game after bishop b2 we have queen h4 which is also strong but not as strong as knight takes e5. We have bishop takes d4, white accepted the sacrifice and knight e4 check. And it was in here that Alexander Kotov made a terrible mistake and played king e3 which steps into a brilliant combination. Instead of king e3 it was better to move back the king on f1 and if knight g3 check then king f2. And if black wins the bishop on d4 then e3 and after queen h4 white can play f4 and although black stands much better but of course white is still holding. But in our game after knight e4 double check we have king e3 which allows black to go for a checkmate in 5. You can pause the video and try to find black's next moves. Ready? In this position Igor Bondarevsky played f4 check and after knight takes f4 once he managed to lure away the knight announced a check from f2, king d3 and a brutal sacrifice by Bondarevsky, queen takes d4, look at this guys. King takes d4 was played and this time the dark squared bishop is joining the attack and after king d3 Believe it or not, but after knight takes e5, we have a checkmate. Look at these guys. This was simply a nightmare for Alexander Kotov. Actually, I think that the attack organized by Bondarevsky was very instructive. For those who are choosing Dutch Stonewall, this game can be a very useful example how to organize the attack. That's why feel free to check out the opening moves once again and meanwhile, Let's solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning move for white. 
White is managing to win in this game with a very beautiful move and in case you can find the winning move I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you. For more games consider subscribing to my channel, I will see you in my next video.